Yo, it's time to check out Transformers Animated Season 2, Episode 1. Yes, we're in Season 2 now. Megatron has his body back. However, he is in pretty bad disarray. So I'm curious to see what Sumdak's going to do for him and just where Animated's going to go from here. But before we jump in, do me a big favor and absolutely obliterate that like button. And if you're new here and you've been enjoying the content, maybe subscribe as well. Let's go, man. What are we going to get in Episode 1? The Elite Guard? This is a big cleanup job, even for a bunch of maintenance bots like us yo who who or what is the elite guard because the elite guard obviously is like the special forces of uh, cybertron well, but how strong are they bro right they gotta be strong oh they're cleaning up the damage from uh the whole battle with megatron oh they're scared of the bots now well yeah they know there's evil bots on the planet now hey where's bumblebee isn't he supposed to be helping too What's he doing, bro? Isaac Sumdak's office, please hold. Bruh. Isaac Sumdak's office, please He's the receptionist? Hold. Isaac Sumdak's office. Uh, no. <laughs> Professor Sumdak still hasn't returned from what his... What the heck, man? Vacation. No wonder my dad acted so crazy. Isn't she like eight years old? How long has it been since the end of season one? It feels like it's right afterwards. Miss Sumdak. As chairman oh, of your board of directors, this guy? I've been going over the books. Isn't that the guy that, like, was talking to Meltdown? He was on the board for Meltdown's company and Sumdak's company? Who is this guy, bro? He's obviously very wealthy. No! He's my Damn, dad! Bro, how and the hell? Missing, he'd do the same for me. That was Young pretty lady, strong, sorry. no room for sentiment in business. This company's name is still Sumdak, so until I find my dad, I'm staying right here, and okay. there's nothing you can do about it. I think there's something they can do. All eyes are on the sky as a mysterious unidentified object from space has entered Earth's atmosphere, heading the, straight for downtown Detroit. The Elite Guard? We better huh. look into it. Transform and roll out. It's the Elite Guard, right? It has to be. It's gonna be the episode. Oh, bro, look at that ship, bro! Have your men stand down. Let us handle this. So you can wreck the other half of the city? I don't think so. Yeah. Their, uh, their reputation's not too good right now, you know? With the humans. The elite guard, bro. It has to be. Oh, look at that symbol, bro. Yep, has the wings on the side. That's Magnus, right? But was that Sentinel before? He's like, robots. more. <laughs> Why did it have to be robots? <laughs> Why couldn't it be like biological aliens, bro? Ultra Magnus, sir. Welcome to Earth, Commander. Oh, this is sick. Jazz, set up a force shield to quarantine us from those organics. Jazz! Yo, he looks like how Jazz is. We just saw Jazz in R.I.D. not too long ago. You sure that's necessary, Commander? I'd like to get a closer look. Oh, I like it might Jazz's. Feel different when the slime they spew out melts through your armor plating and rots your circuits it from the inside. It is Senti Sentinel really? Prime, bro. Look at him. I've had some experience with organics. Isn't that right, Optimus? Bro. Right, the spiders. But I mean, you're talking about spiders, not humans, bro. Decontaminate Optimus Prime and his crew. Decontaminate. With pleasure, sir. Oh, Sentinel Prime, looking like. Uh, He's enjoying this, though. Him and Optimus weren't exactly on good terms. This is a completely unnecessary sentinel. Can't risk an infestation, old buddy. Yeah. Take it like a real bot. Oh, he's going to start being a real asshole now, huh? He was sort of like a uh, Chad type vibe cool it, in the past. Whatever went down between you and Optimus, you don't need to hassle his crew. Uh, it kind of sort of blew up. What? Oh my goodness. Destroyed? Yep, no None longer existent. Sir, more like its energy was uh, dispersed. Did it become one with oh, Earth? You've made some big time blunders in your day, Optimus, but this one tops them all. Again, that was um your fault for what happened. You're in, mainly you and Alita One, not Optimus, but okay. He's a slagging hero for keeping it from Megatron and the Decepticons. Slagging hero, Stand bro. Stand down, Rust Bucket. Your boss is a lot of things, but hero isn't one of them. You expect us to believe that a bunch of glitch detail flunkies could defeat Megatron? <sighs> Why do we hide here like cowards? We should stand and fight the accursed Autobots. Where are they? Oh, well, that's why your arm fell off. I have my sights set on a far bigger prize. Cybertron itself. Ooh, that sounds crazy. Even to me. How? How dare you doubt the word of a glorious leader? <laughs> Take a seat. What's your plan? Two things led to our defeat in the Great Wars. The Allspark and the Autobots exclusive space bridge technology. 
those access codes that Elite uh, RC had, right? But during my battle aboard the Autobots ship, I was able to download a schematic for one of their space bridges. You had time, bruh? There's just one glitch. The specs are incomplete. Oh. We will need assistance filling in the gaps. Some deck? And who better to assist than the master of reverse engineering? Some deck. Professor Isaac. Damn, Sundak. bro. They got this dude in a prison. Is he sleeping shit in there, too? I don't see a bathroom, bro. You cannot trick me into helping you this time, Megatron. Keeping you alive is your usefulness to me. Or some deck. Show me one shred of evidence that the Allspark wasn't completely destroyed on your watch. Does anybody actually like this character in Transformers Animated? I wonder if anybody's actually a fan of him. You have my word. <laughs> we all know what that's worth, don't we? Come on, boss bot. Why don't you stand up for yourself? Because he knows his place. How about I put you in your place? <laughs> okay, no. Well, easy, big guy. This cyber Ooh. clown isn't worth it. Cyber clown. Stand down. Oh, all the, of you. the boss has spoken, bro. These are bro. serious charges and they will be investigated. Show us where this supposed Decepticon battle took place. Transform. Where are they going to be? An armored vehicle? Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh yeah, no one's gonna notice that. Yeah, I know. It's a it's a truck with a fucking uh, plow on the front, bro. Was it was it a snow truck? It's all right. They're on our side. Dude, he's such an asshole, bro. That's good, cause I was worried they might, you know, destroy something. What about the others? Oh. Not allowed in. Wait. Bro, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. Yeah, good. Serves you right, bro. Good. Good, bro. This is not even my area of expertise. I do servo mechanics, not teleportation. No. What the hell, dude? You it did that to threaten him? That on purpose to sabotage Megatron's brilliant plan. Oh, did he? No. No, it just went crazy, I swear. No. Oh my goodness, dude. There is a fragment of the old spark embedded in these circuits. The old spark may not have been completely destroyed. Oh, it was really dispersed. They weren't there lying. There be pockets of its energy scattered all over this city. All over this planet. Because we know what the all spark can do. Are they going to turn these things sentient? And is Megatron going to use it? Or... A lot is happening from that battle last episode. This is really cool. There's a problem at the factory. The assembly line's gone haywire. Can't you fix it? I thought the company's name was Sundeck. Ugh, fine. I'll do it myself. He got you there, sorry. For my assistant. Your key. What are you hmm, doing? That's not a good idea. It is. Yes! You literally cut through it. Uh, I'm curious what this all spark is going to do now that it's in like all kinds of technology on earth well you didn't think they had an alarm system contamination i was gonna say she contaminated this <laughs> and don't even think of spewing any slime yeah, it's so crazy that they're afraid of humans they don't know what organics are all about they think they're like they're spiders bro use it What's going on? Whatever happened to Black Arachnia? She was in the last episode, you don't but want to be slimed. she's perfectly safe. But Sentinel is a glitch head. Yeah, he's, a, he's an asshole, respect. bro. Nah, nah, no Crazy. respect, bro. These organics each have their own look, their own style. Ah, yeah, just like you guys. Come on. No can do. I got orders from Ultra Magnus to stick with you. Yeah, but he didn't say where. True. I have been itching dude. to give my new wheels dude. a spin. Dude. Oh. Besides, any species that could come up with a sweet ride like this can be all bad. Yo, I love that Jazz is fitting in, bro. Our ship is right up ahead, but try to keep quiet. Oh, the Dinobots. Ooh, afraid there might still be some big bad Decepticons lurking Ooh, in no, the no, 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 something bigger. Not Decepticons, Dinobots. They'll leave you alone as long as you don't provoke them. 
I don't need some elite guard washout telling me how to handle primitive technology. Oh, Prime was supposed was training for the elite guard as well, but I guess after what happened on that planet, he dropped out. That technology is not as primitive as it looks. I don't recall. Or they forced you. him to drop out, maybe Fight. because of what happened. Noise, knock him on his ass. I like it. Yo, is that the? Is that the forge, or is that just some kind of warhammer? Damn, bro, it drew, it pushed them back. Dude, how strong is that, bro? How strong is Ultra Magnus? Because he's the supreme commander of the Autobots in this, isn't he? Behind you. This has to be costing some deck a lot of money, bro. <laughs> that uh, board member's not gonna be too happy. No, the classic Metallicato five servos of doom attack. Metallicato, bro? That's their type of karate. Oh, we had nunchucks? Metalcado, he said? Metal karate? Oh my goodness. So Jazz is like a ninja too? That's so sick. There we go, baby. There we go. Absolutely. Anytime, Optimus. It's time to dance, dude. My man got a mean chin, but not as big as uh, Seth on Prime's chin, which I'm told he's referenced after the Tick, who also had a very big chin. And I could say it. There you go, Prime. Ooh. This company's name is Sumdak. It's my responsibility. Keep the drones Bro. busy out here. Isn't she like eight years old? Sneak sorry inside to the He's taking more guy. accountability than adults do, dude. <laughs> Mind if I, join you? I was gonna say, need a rock, need a lift. It looked like he was hitchhiking, bro. Go, we'll hold him off here. Here we go, Metalcado. Let's go, bro. Very good. And that is why the company name is Sundak. Meanwhile. Oh. oh, my man literally has Thor's hammer. That's what he did before he conjured lightning. I wasn't sure where it came from. I thought it came out of the hammer. He literally just conjured lightning from the sky, bro. Oh, what a badass. That panel's gonna overload. I think you've done enough, Optimus. I'll make sure you're tried for high treason for destroying the AllSpark. Now come with me. No, that's a direct order, Optimus. It's Optimus Prime. I may be an elite guard washout and a glitch detail flunky, but the last time I checked, you and I still have equal rank. So, Sentinel Prime, take your order and your condescending attitude. Because they're both primes. And stick in your hard drive. There you go. You're on my turf now. You might see what happened earlier. Ooh, it pull a big fragment out though, and now they're gonna know about it. What was that? Your proof. True. He definitely appears to be a fragment of the old spark. You can't honestly believe bro. that. He's Shut a lying up. insubordinate crankshaft. Shut up, bro. It may be a little rough around the edges, but in the heat of battle, Optimus Prime exhibited the qualities of a true yeah. leader. He saw Strategic it firsthand, bro. Determination, and above all, loyalty. Something you could stand to learn Let's a thing or two about Sentinel Prime. Let's go, dude. Let him know, bro. How am I gonna explain this to Mr. Powell? Mr. Powell's his name? Hey, why is my office locked? Oh, they kicked her out, bro. I regret to inform you that your services will no longer be required. You can't do that. It's still my family's company. Is it? I took the liberty of doing some research into your claim. It might interest you to know that there is no will. No birth certificate, no adoption papers, social security number, or any kind of record whatsoever for a sorry Sumdak. What? You saying I can't prove I'm Isaac Sumdak's daughter? I'm saying you can't even prove you exist. No adopt, no, nothing, no papers whatsoever. That kind of goes back to what the All Spark was showing her about the DNA. And then Sumdak was also gonna tell her something. Did he create her in the lab?